What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling. Now not too long ago, WWE announced that they will be returning to the UK, coming to Newcastle, London, Cardiff and Glasgow on the 19th, 20th, 21st and 22nd of September 2021. Now in this video, I want to let you guys know that if you are attending the London show on September 20th, 2021 at the O2 Arena in London, I will be there. So let me know in the comment section down if you guys are going. It will be awesome to see some of you there. Uh, once again, obviously, I'm just a normal guy, just like all of you. So if you see me at the show, don't be shy. Come over. Let's chat wrestling. You know, it's going to be great to talk to some wrestling fans again. It's been so long. This was meant to happen in May 2020, and it's been pushed back and pushed back and pushed back until now. And this is what I want to talk to you guys about today. One, letting you know that I'm obviously going to be there. But two, just letting you know my story because I've really been messed around with my tickets when it comes to this. And I'm not exactly happy. There's pros and cons to this story. So without further ado, let's get right into the beginning of my story. Okay, so pre-2020 pandemic, it was arranged for me to go to Friday Night Smackdown at the O2 Arena in London on, I believe it was May the 3rd, 2020. Now, this was all well and good, but obviously the pandemic hit in April, so everything was pushed back. And I knew for a certain there was no way that I was going to this show. It was just not going to take place. And it didn't. So WWE uh, kept pushing the date back. I think it got pushed back to July then September, then November, and it kept getting pushed back until eventually they changed the show. It wasn't Friday Night Smackdown anymore, which is what I booked tickets for. I wanted to see Smackdown. It was now Monday Night Raw. Now, I wasn't too annoyed, but I was a bit disappointed because by the time it had been switched to Raw, all the stars that I would have wanted to see on Raw, guys like Seth Rollins, had now been drafted over to SmackDown. You know, Rollins, Rey Mysterio, the people that I wanted to see, they weren't on Raw. Uh, they weren't on Raw anymore. They were on SmackDown now. So it's like, okay, well, I guess you know, I've got to look at the positives. Drew's gonna be there. Bobby Lashley, Randy Orton, Riddle, Jeff Hardy, these guys. But I was like, I wanted to see Roman Reigns. I wanted to see Seth Rollins. I wanted to see, you know, Braun Strowman, although he's not there no more. Uh, that, that's what I wanted. So I was a bit annoyed, but I thought, you know what? We can't help it, so I guess I'm going to Monday Night Raw. So that was that. It was booked, and then the dates got pushed back again, and again, and again, until recently, I don't even remember when. I know it was in the last probably three or four months. My tickets disappeared entirely. On the website that I booked them off, they were gone. And I was like, uh-oh, this isn't good. So I immediately got in contact with the people and luckily, thank thank the Lord, uh, they hadn't been deleted. They hadn't been taken away and non-refunded. Um, WWE just hadn't given the company an actual confirmed date yet as to when they were planning on doing it. So my tickets didn't appear. And the guy was really nice on the uh, support thing. He basically just said straight up, uh, once there's a date, you'll get your tickets, you'll get your seats. It'll be like nothing's changed. So that's what's happened. And here we are. Uh, right now, where recently I got my tickets back through. However, it's not for Friday Night Smackdown anymore. It's not for Monday Night Raw anymore. It's for WWE Live, which is a house show. Now, I'm trying to look at the pros and cons to this. You know, I, I paid tickets to go to a televised event and it's not televised anymore. Um, I wanted to be on TV. I wanted to, you know... Watch SmackDown. I wanted to, well, you know, got it set in my head. I didn't want to, but I was then watching Raw. And now it's a live show. So I'm thinking about it and I'm like, well, what can I do? You know, I don't want to miss it. I haven't been to WWE Live since I was a kid and I've been wanting to go for so long. So I've looked at the pros and cons and I'm like, okay, well, I'm definitely going. O2 Arena, September 20th, 2021. I will be there for WWE Live. But I've just got hope, fingers crossed, that both the Raw and SmackDown roster have matches on the card because there's stars that I want to see that I've never seen before in person. Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, AJ Styles, these people, I want to see them. I've never seen them wrestle before. Granted, I'm lucky enough, I've seen people like CM Punk, John Cena. I've seen them wrestle live. But it's, you know, the new generation, I haven't seen any of those guys. So they're who I want to see. But WWE Live, you know, I... I 
I am excited to watch it, I, but I, I can't help but be a little bit disappointed because I was booked to go to Friday Night Smackdown, but that's no longer in my control. I don't even think it's really in WWE's control anymore. So you have to be grateful no matter what. You know, I, I, it could be worse. I could not be going at all. But there you go. Has any of this happened to you guys? Did you guys get messed about with your tickets a little bit? If you did, let me know. Uh, I'd want to hear your story too. Did some of you sell your tickets on or get them refunded because you wanted to go to SmackDown that badly? You're like, I'm not going to go to WWE Live instead. I wanted to go to SmackDown. I don't know. Let me know. But either way, once again, I reiterate. On September 20th, 2021, in the London O2 Arena, I will be there for WWE Live and I can't wait to see some of you there. I've been Joe from Joe's Lots Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.